Hello artists, we're going to be adding some major contrast to this drawing. Now you can see my page is all dry and we are going to be adding some contrast to the shadow areas on the right side of this artichoke. So I have some purple and I'm adding that to the right side very lightly on the stem and on the leaves. Now I'm going to work my way up onto the right side of the artichoke head and I'm just adding some really light little marks with my purple chalk on the right side of those kind of half circle shapes and I'm just kind of defining the edge of those kind of scalloped scaly shapes that we put in. You can see I'm doing little marks and I'm just going to go in and add a little bit more contrast on the leaves. And there you go. Look at that. Look at it just pops right out at you. Now let's add some water to our brush and we're going to paint this out and just kind of get it to blend in. But when we do this, just be really careful because the purple can easily spread out and it will cover everything that you did. So just take your time, use the corner of your brush, so then that way you have a little bit more control. And I'm just kind of dabbing all those little strokes that I did with the purple. And look at how nice that is. It's really starting to pop out at us. Now I'm going to take some of this purple and I'm just kind of going along the outer edge of the foliage in the T area of the Zalige tile. And you could do blue, you could do dark green, really any dark color will work. We just want to make sure is that it is a cooler color. And so we're just trying to define the edges a little bit more so we can see it a little bit more clearly. So I'm just adding a little water onto my brush and just kind of blending out those very loose lines that I put on the outline of the greenery. And we're just trying to make it dissolve just a little bit. I'm just going to add a little bit of a pattern up in this top section here and I'm just going to add some kind of leafy shapes. If you want to add flowers or if you want to add some more kind of birds or different animals kind of flying in, go ahead and you can do that. I am drawing on top of the dry yellow background. And what's really cool with this chalk, because it dries so quickly, you can draw on top of it pretty fast. pretty soon afterward. Now I'm going to go ahead and fill in those leafy shapes with some of the green chalk. So we're just adding a little bit more detail to this tile and getting some water on the brush and again just letting it dissolve some of that green and so then it becomes more of a painting. Now I'm going to grab my blue chalk and I'm just going very carefully along the outer edge of the leaf and the stem of the artichoke and I'm going in just to the really dark areas of the head of the artichoke just a few spots on the right side and the green sections here have already dried so I'm going to go in lightly with the blue on the right side of the leaves. And again we grab our brush and some water, just a little bit, goes a long way you guys. And we're just kind of letting that chalk spread out a little bit but I'm using the edge of my paintbrush.
Now it's really starting to pop at us. It looks so cool. Good work, artists. We are at the end of this week's lesson. If you want to add any more colors or more contrast, please go right ahead. And if you also want to add some color pencil or some crayon or other art mediums on top of the sidewalk chalk once it's dry, go ahead. Hi artists, you have finished your week number nine main project. Really awesome work. I can't wait to see everyone's drawings. And who would have thought that sidewalk chalk and water create really awesome drawing materials. So anytime we have a project and you don't have the materials on hand, feel free to improvise. I want you guys to think outside the box. Don't worry if you don't have the materials or if you want to substitute and do different materials instead, please feel free to do that on any of the projects that I give you guys. Awesome work. Have an artful day, everyone.